Hello everyone, welcome back to the Storm 33. I am Tatiana. I'm here to I'm here with our summons for September the 22nd, 2024. We'll be reading Matthew chapter 1 in the New Testament. Matthew stands for Christ is King, the blood. Okay, and I had I got this from listening to my mixtape, How I'm Living. Okay, and it's titled The Genealogy of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's begin. I'm getting sick. A record of the genealogy of Yeshua, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Okay, Yeshua is also, you know, me, me. The Messiah is me. David is the video. Abraham is Clive, okay. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron. Hezron became the father of Ram. Ram became the father of Amadab. Amadab became the father of Nashon. Nashon became the father of Salmon. Salmon became the father of Boed by, Re- by Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed by Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse became the father of King David. David became the father of Solomon by her who had been Yul's wife. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam became the father of Abijah. Abijah became the father of Asa. Asa became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat became the father of Joram. Joram became the father of Uziah. Uziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham became the father of Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Hekazah. Hekazah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh became the father of Ammon. Ammon became the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeshoniah and his brothers at the time of the exile to Babylon. After the exile to Babylon, Jeshoniah became the father of Shetil. Shetil became the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel became the father of Abdul. Abdul became the father of Elikim. Elikim became the father of Azar. Azar became the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Ashim. Ashim became the father of Elu. Elu became the father of Ezra. Ezra became the father of Matadin. Matadin became the father of Jacob. Jacob became the father of Joseph, the husband of Miriam, from whom that's the second machine, from whom was born Yeshua, who is called Messiah. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. From David to the exile to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the carrying away to Babylon to the Messiah, 14 generations. Now in the birth of Yeshua, the Messiah was like this. After his mother, Marian, was engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man and now willing to make her a public example, intended to put her away secretly. But when he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take to yourself Marian, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She shall give birth to a son. You shall call his name Yeshua, for it is he who shall save his people from their sins. Now all this had happened, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall give birth to a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel, which is being interpreted, God with us. You ain't lying. Joseph arose from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord commanded him and took his wife to himself and didn't know her sexually until she had given birth to her firstborn son. He named him Yeshua. That part I feel like is about me and Kia because, you know, 
she took me off too. Saying Jasmine took me off to be her mama too. Okay. Um, maybe because um, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm see. I told you I'm gonna put some distractions. Now I gotta answer this because she said she didn't want that baby. She said her, her son was already in the house. So, <laughs> okay, I did my part. He's mine now. Enjoy.